Are you having trouble deciding whether to self-load, push load, or top load a scraper? Contractors always strive to move material at the lowest cost per cubic yard. Because of this, self-loading is the optimal method if conditions allow you to load your scraper to 80% capacity in a 45 second time frame. If these standards cannot be met, alternative loading solutions described in this video should then be explored. Here are three factors to consider when determining which earth moving equipment combination is optimal for your job site. Material and site condition. Ideal site conditions for self-loading material differs between power units. Tractors pulling direct mount scrapers excel in soft, spongy soil. Comparatively, an articulated dump truck scraper hauler is better in rough ground conditions. Push loading support equipment is recommended with material that is too wet, slippery, and sloppy. When material is too hard or rocky, it is recommended that you top load your scraper, since it is a lower and larger target when compared to an ADT dump box. Additionally, for dredging projects, top loading is recommended when placing wet material in the scraper bowl for transportation to the fill area. Job site and volume. For larger job site projects that require over 100,000 cubic yards to be moved under standard conditions, top loading is not typically recommended. Larger scrapers such as the KTEC 126380T are ideal for big earth moving projects where push loading is recommended. When cleaning up uneven excavated hill piles, an excavator is necessary to load the material. Existing power units. You should be self-loading if your power unit is able to perform at a level where it can efficiently self-load at least 80% of the scraper capacity within 45 seconds. If you cannot meet this standard, for operational efficiency, you should incorporate a piece of push loading equipment to meet this standard. If you have an extra tractor in your earth moving fleet, consider attaching the aux block pusher accessory and turn it into a fast moving dozer while minimizing maintenance costs when compared to a dozer. Push loading gains up to a 15% increase when compared to top loading due to the material being compacted. If you have an excavator in your fleet with an available operator, the option of top loading can then be considered for special applications. Other support equipment. To enhance a fleet for a completely self-sufficient construction site, consider incorporating other pieces of support equipment including but not limited to Disker rippers. Using a disker or ripper teeth allows for the breaking up of hard material for soil pulverization on job sites which makes loading material onto your scraper that much easier. Packer. Smooth drum and sheep's foot rollers are commonly used in highway construction. A packer is an important piece of equipment for compacting material in the fill zones. Water wagon. Using a water wagon to spray down the haul road is a smart and safe way to keep dust down on the construction site. Land leveler. Cycle time can be easily gained with a well-groomed haul road. Consider using at least a 16 foot wide construction grade land leveler to properly grade the power unit's tracks on the haul road. Land levelers are also essential in completing the finishing work to the required grade. For transporting between job sites, flex models enable the folding back of the hitch pole for legal road transportation widths of under 8.5 feet. In summary, self-loading a scraper is ideally the most efficient way of moving dirt. Push loading is suggested for wet job sites. Top loading is recommended for rock or dredging projects. Support equipment helps round out a complete fleet of job site equipment.